Hey everybody, it's Miracle, and today I wanted to make a video about good old Super Sanic here. He messaged me in a, a comment, and he's like, hey, thanks for saying about Demon Hunters way back when. This is months ago, when Demon Hunter first came out, we were finding all the changes to Legion. Rogues lose burst of speed, because Rogues used to be the most optimal farming class, pretty much, alongside Druids, because both classes were just immensely fast. And uh, with the Proven Ground method, you could teleport in and out of dungeons. It was just great because classes were super quick. Um, and a lot of classes got changes, like Druids Lost Soothe, I believe, so they couldn't pull very well. And then it came down to, like, Rogues Lost Burst of Speed, so they became slow as dirt. <laughs> it just, all the classes became really, really slow. But when Legion was starting, I noticed that the passive for Demon Hunter was... It increased movement speed alongside chaos damage, but I said it makes you faster. And I said, maybe someday Demon Hunters will become the fastest, fastest farming class if you could cap out just mastery. And because of that, <laughs> Super Sanic went ahead and tried that. And he's probably as high as you can get mastery. I, I mean, I guess it could only vary slightly if you could get better like procs for the world epics or whatever because you know like their item levels vary i think i think they go up and down so any case as you can see he's got lots of profession items like he got to level 101 he is 101 for the sake of wearing a lot of the legion epics since even though they're level 110 material wise you can wear them at 101 so you see here his first thing is a pair of the goggles and you can wear him at 101, but it gives a good 806 mastery. He's wearing a world epic neck. Again, like this 835 item level, but since he's 101, he can wear it with 75 mastery enchanted on it. He's got shoulders. I don't think he could really do much better in this this slot because just certain items, you know. Unless maybe there's, I don't even think there's a BOE he could wear. So he's probably... He, I imagine he went to a lot of effort doing this with all the things. I didn't get to talk to him much because he had to go to sleep. But his cape, 187 mastery again with 100 mastery plus 2% speed. So it's a little speed boost as well. His chest is another 101 equipped with 351 mastery. His wrists are Mythic Warforge. So he went to uh, Elfire Citadel likely. Got Mythic Warforged so he could get that higher mastery, 238. Now, he, he told me to specify, these are cloth. You'll notice these two pieces are cloth, but they give a lot of mastery. And it's an 840, so it's 707 mastery. And then this is a Warforged 845 with 331 mastery. But they're both cloth, but it doesn't matter. He's just in it for the mastery, right? You don't need high stats to do old dungeons, of course. Then his pants is another BOE epic. 8, 787 mastery and again that's what I was talking about you see how it's 835 item level if he got more procs like these warforged I think that's really the only way he could push these numbers higher so uh, if you got maybe like a I guess you could I don't know what the highest I imagine they can titan forge and stuff too but I have no idea when it comes down to it boots 249 mastery uh, he's wearing rings with this one has the socket for jewel crafters so you see he went to jewel crafting so he could get that um, socket and he threw an 8, 375 mastery gem in it 200 mastery enchantments and then his other ring is the, the beast of all mastery rings it's uh, also got the st speed proc like you see that that's just the absolute best ring you could get because he gets 18, 23 mastery a speed proc 200 more mastery 302 mastery from this and 385 from this now, what does this all boil down to? <laughs> well, if you go down to his stats, 109.19% mastery. Now, armories aren't up to date if I scroll over it. It only says 15% movement speed. But he told me <laughs> his movement speed, when he's just doing his normal run, is 74.4% fast, faster than like normal run speed, so 744 the base ground mount is 60%. So he's moving 14% faster than the base ground mount. Then he also said he got his artifact to the point where you get the blur talent. And uh, when you do the blur talent effect, it gives you an additional 30% speed for, and it's a very short cooldown. I think it's 30 seconds. 
if I remember. But he, that's an additional 30%. So he can run faster than normal mounts, like the, the epic normal mount, because he would be running it at 114% speed. <laughs> he could outrun mounts with his feet. Now, thank you very much for pushing these numbers. Uh, I, I completely forgot. I was I would have tried something like this too, but I can't believe somebody went there and did it. So Super Sonic, that's really cool. Maybe somebody out there wants to try and beat his speed, but if he's moving at 74% speed, he is by far the best class to farm on. I mean, nothing can compete with that speed, considering Demon Hunters just are inherently very very fast all their own. Anyways, I thought it was cool. I wanted to share. Um, if you're demon hunters, if you got one that you want to make just to use to farm, go ahead and try it. Maybe you can pick up a couple cheap epics. Uh, level 101. I mean, it's great. I thought it was cool. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.